this is the 18 gram plug. This is the one that I've been ranting about on the internet. This is the one that I find really, really hard to cast. Peter Thane currently holds the 18 gram multiplier record. It's around about 114 meters, but I'm sure he'll correct me on that if I'm wrong. Andy Miller, another one is an ex UK record holder. Very, very good caster, but it's pretty good with this. I took this up about two years ago and to my disbelief, I found it extremely hard. I thought it was going to be very, very easy. In fact, it's quite the contrary. What we've got here is the good old tried and tested Abu 25. There's a lightweight spool in there from Japan Tackle. 0.25 line on. Again, this is Ultima Extreme. This is some line that Andy Miller put me onto after last year's Jersey Open. It's very, very accurate, very, very good line. But um, just a standard 0.35 shock leader. We'll throw some casts together and we'll see what happens. Okay, here we are. We're at uh, Grainville Cricket Field, or Cricket Pavilion, to call it by its correct name. We've just been given use of this by the local education authority, and we're very, very grateful for that. As you can see, what's required for this game is nice short grass, nobody in the way. This type of casting, you don't normally, this, this doesn't stick in the ground. It's three casts, casts, wind it back, casts, wind it back, and so on and so on. Anyway, to technique. The most important thing is to keep this moving in a direction around the body and in as big a circle as possible, just like all the OTG stuff we've talked about. But because this, this weight, if you can call it a weight, there's nothing to it. It's literally two or three cigarettes put together. It's got no mass, so it doesn't store a lot of energy. This is where the speed thing I was just talking about comes in. We've got to keep this moving. Now, recently on the internet, Mark Jakins was talking about pushing the weight away, like this. So the weight is pushed away, and then it comes back. But now he's talking about weighting. Now, what happens with an 18 gram is because it doesn't hold any momentum, it will fall out of the arc and start to fall towards the floor. So rather than weight, we've got to weight, but we've got to weight with a slow moving motion, very, very slow. Only for a fraction of a second, but it keeps everything moving around me. As in, we push away, we push away, and now we move really, really slowly. But we are gonna move. It's gotta be extremely slowly because when I'm in this position, and my back is to the hockey, and this is being pushed away. As soon as this left hand goes out, I'm trying to get into that same position that I would be off the ground, i.e. that the sinker, which is now behind me, is about 90 degrees to the rod tip. So then, as we move through, I leave the rod behind. As I turn my head, the rod is still behind. As I come up here, that can start to arc, Everything happens, and away she goes. Okay, well, let's throw one or two casts together. This rod that I'm using is the Century Tip Tornado Ultralight at 13 feet. It's not as stiff as some of the rods that are preferred by some of the really good UK casters. I've tried extremely stiff rods. Now, for some reason, whilst they work, they don't seem to work as well as this. This breaks the rules, really. I mean, it is stiff. But it's not harsh. It's, it's difficult to explain. The rod just really seems to work. From the moment that I bought it, it added 10 metres to my cast, and it probably added 10 metres to my brother's cast. It seems like, even though the rod was never designed with 18 gram in mind, it handles it very, very well. And it comes very, very recommended, as does the Ziplex law, or the profile law. I'm not sure what it's called now. I mean, Terry would never give me one. He said I wasn't good enough. Hopefully now, Terry, if you're watching this, I have improved a little bit, so you can send me one now if you like. But um, going back to the technique, drop. Drop is absolutely critical in 18 gram. I mean, I cannot stress that enough. What you've got to do is you've got to start off and you've got to cast and you've got to put the drop here, you've got to have the drop down here, you've got to have the drop on the foot. You have got to absolutely try everything. Somewhere within the parameters of about maybe two-thirds and four-fifths of the length of the rod is your optimum drop and you must must find it 
when you have found it, you mustn't change things like the type of leader, the type of 0.35 leader that you're using, because even the slightest little amount of stretch that you're not getting, or are getting now by changing that line, or that composition of the nylon, can affect the drop, and even if it only moves it by a quarter of an inch, you can gain or lose one metre. Now, one metre might not sound a lot in the world of casting five ounce leads, but believe me, in this game, it's a game of centimetres, and you've got to take every centimetre that you can get. Anyway, let's, uh, let's throw a few casts together, string it along, and then we'll talk about it later. Okay.